week. Maybe so. But now we will finally we get, get to, it. to it. <laughs> he has sold an amazing number of records, but you probably don't know who he is, mostly because all week Tony was calling him the Parisian Elvis. <laughs> but he is actually Andy the Persian Elvis. Oh, wrong. <laughs> He doesn't look like a superstar, but make no bones about it, Andy is big. Nine CDs, sales worldwide in the millions, but most Americans have never heard of the one named artist. He sings primarily in Farsi, but also in English, French, and Spanish. His roots are in Tehran. He lived there for 18 years. Ironically, his music is banned in his homeland. I use a lot of relationships between men and women. And they don't appreciate that stuff because they don't like men and women too close to each other. <laughs> and I definitely like that. And so do his fans. A fan base so big, he's reportedly the most bootleg artist in the world. I know it by when I go to con to perform, I see thousands of kids who, are, who know my song. But I know I didn't sell it to them because <laughs> I didn't get a dollar out of it. <laughs> In fact, some of his fans crammed the local record store during a recent promotion for his latest CD, Silk Road. And his concerts attract a young audience despite its wholesome nature. I always talk about no drugs, no drinks, and staying at school. The young kids love the music and the romance that goes on. <laughs> Still, his relative anonymity in the U.S. doesn't affect Andy one bit. And until he goes mainstream, he intends to keep doing what he's doing best, being the Persian Elvis. I think it's a great honor to affiliate me with Elvis because he's the biggest thing ever happened to music. Uh, but my music is not like Elvis Presley at all. And uh, I think it's mostly because of my fans. Florin is a Romanian album. We'll be right back. Love it. Mm -hmm.